The new update has just been released on Rise of Kingdoms. Finally, the so awaited skill lock function is live and everybody can benefit from it. We will also be talking about some other features that came with the same update. If you like my content, consider dropping a like on the video, subscribing, it's free, and you can always change your mind. Let's go! Hello everyone, it's Wig Gaming here, and in this short video, we are going to test some stuff from the new update. Primarily, the new awaited skill lock function. What is it supposed to be? You should be able to lock your commander skill in order to have the points land where you want. But uh, there are some limitations to this function. Let's take a look at it together. So if I go on my commanders and I go on my Mulan, for example, I would like to use my Mulan at 5511. But uh, 5311, it's already very good. The problem before the skill lock is that uh, if I unlock the third and the fourth skill, I will not be sure anymore that the other skill points will land on the second skill. So I will not be sure to have a Mulan that is 5511. If I now go on skills and I go on this button right here, on the bottom right, we can see that we can move this bar to lock the skills. But we can lock them in order. So let's test it together. Let's uh, increase the star level of my Mulan. And uh, let's see if I can lock the third and the fourth skill. Let's use some books. So my Mulan is now level 30 for stars. All her skills have been unlocked. If I want to make sure that the following points will land on the second skill in order to have a Mulan 5511 extremely useful, I just need to click on skills and then on this new cog icon on the bottom right. Then I need to move the selector to 2 and click save. Let's click confirm. You can see that the skill number 3 is locked and the skill number 4 is locked as well. So all the points that I will assign to my Mulan will go on the second skill because it's the only one available that is not already at maximum level. Unfortunately, this new skill lock system will not allow us to lock a skill in the middle. For example, if I want my Guan to be 5155 because, you know, I understand that the second skill is conquering related and it's not really useful on the open field and I want my Guan to be 5155, unfortunately I will not be able to do that. But anything else like 5111, 5511, 5551, everything is possible. For example, if I have my Saladin at 553, but I want to level him up to level 60 in order to use him on the field and still having the skill points land on the third skill to complete him at 5551, I can do that now. So I can level up my Saladin to level 60 and use him on the field before he is at 5551. So this new skill lock system does not go towards the competitive side of Rise of Kingdoms, unfortunately, but it does prevent people from upgrading the star level before having upgraded the skill level of the first skills, which are normally the most important. Another nice feature that we already talked about in the leak video is the new kill point system. If you go on your profile and you click this question mark right here, you can see that now for each tier of troops that has been killed, several points have been assigned. Of course, for the tier ones, very few points have been assigned. For the tier 4s, they just multiply the number of tier 4s that you killed by 10, and for tier 5s, by 20. So, if you have a lot of tier 5 kills, you're gonna get a lot of points. In fact, my kill points now is over 1 billion. Another feature is related to the graphics quality. In fact, if you are now experiencing some lag problems, you can click your avatar on the top left, go on settings, general settings, and you can lower your graphics quality to low. Let's restart the game and let's see what's changed. Okay, we are now back in the game and we can already notice that many animations in my city have just disappeared. So we don't have the people walking around the city, we don't have the troops in the, in the training centers upgrading anymore. And uh, here you go, there is no skill animation, there, is not, there are not even the numbers on the top of the commanders. So these will help reduce the lag of your device to the very minimum. 
So we have already talked about the chances probability that will now show on the screen when you're forging something. Um, but I wanted still to show you, so if you go on any piece of equipment, for example a green equipment, and you click the info box on the top right, you can see that if you scroll down, there is this point right here that says when you forge the same piece of equipment multiple times, the chance of gaining a special talent bonus will increase each time until you get one, as follows. First forge, 11, second, 22, third, 33, fourth, 44, and fifth, 100%. So it's granted to receive a special talent if you forge the same item five times. That's the end of this video, very quick and painless. If you guys enjoyed, consider subscribing, and uh, I will see you on the next one. Ciao!